Hi folks, welcome here to the FMC Auctions here in Ballymoney. I'm going to give you a wee walk around here of all the tractors, machinery, motorbikes, cars that are left in for auction here happening this weekend. It starts this evening at 6 o'clock here. We're doing lots 100, 1 to 400 and tomorrow we finish off by going from 401 to 674. Again, a great variety of lots in this auction. As you can see there within our auction room one here, all good quality stuff there. <coughs> good motorbikes, tractors, you name it. Again, there's a spectacular track there, a Ford 1000. Very, very rare in this auction room here. I'm hoping it'll do well tomorrow anyhow. Again, if you know somebody that's into their Fords, maybe haven't got that in their collection, please make them aware of it. Again, we're in there, lovely wee TVO Ferguson. It's always nice to have a David Brown in the mix as well. Again, in the corner here, we have a hook. A Vauxhall Nova Saloon, again a lovely clean car, 32,000 miles on the clock uh, from you. Again, a nice straight car. Over in this corner here we have the Capri. Nice Capri she is too, a little bit of a head turner there. Again folks, the video, you come and look around her, satisfy yourself. Lovely Capri inside there, bucket seats and all on her. There you see it there. Absolute topper, real matter of a car. And in the corner here we have the Nuffield 1042. Again, all these tractors, I am blessed this time round. Every tractor in the yard is turning and starting. You can hear them. If you want to come to the auction there, you want to hear a tractor, ask us and we'll start them. No problem whatsoever. Again, this tractor here is a 35X. When I first put it up on Facebook, some guys questioned in here. This here, there should have been two bolts in there, wrong dynamo. But anyhow, the tractors, uh, they said she's only a 35. She has been verified on the block in here from an enthusiast in behind here it says number five in here which signals or tells you that she is a 35x anyhow in the meantime you satisfy yourself again i'm calling her a 35x you call her what you want her <clears throat> again lovely wee midget again that's time we midget mg midget again lovely car look at how uh, it's just spotless lovely paint work there along the side there as you see she is gleaming and swinging around here, again this tractor here, yesterday we opened for viewing, they're all around this here, like bees around honey. This lovely 135, tax book it all in there for her as well. Nice tractor, good straight tractor. On the button, first turn of the key. Just to mention here, before we go any further, we have over 100 tractor seats here from one private collector. You can see across the way there as well, they're all here. Again, you can view them all here. And again, in the corner, a 690T. She is a 690, a Matthew Ferguson 690 turbo tractor. A lovely, lovely clean tire. Brackets and all in her there. In the back of her for the loader. Should you wish that there. But again, a lot of people are talking about this tractor. Usually around the back of her here. Usually a tractor of her is be all rusted. She's sitting gleaming there. No rust there. Watch her make a wee pit here and there. But apart from that there, she is 110 here. And going on to the hammer tomorrow, Saturday morning. In the corner we have over here a lovely McCormick International. Again, drove into the shed. A McCormick International W4. Again, totally original tractor again, untouched, not pinned up. So that's the way you like them nowadays. A McCormick International inside the main shed. Well mentioned there, you can see two Clydesdale horse carts. One small, one large this time, and you've got the extension that goes on top. This does lift off, folks. This lifts off the top there. If you want to put a load of corn on it, that gives the extension to take her down the road. All in one load. A great, great uh, pair of carts they are out of a very, very good home. Outside, there's a matching roller in the same colours for a Clyde Steel as well. And again, there's your tractor seats there, all cracking. There's a rare one there. I'm told that's a very rare seat there. You don't see them often coming through. Have you got that in your collection? If you haven't, get it bought tomorrow. There's only one opportunity and you're going to get it tomorrow. And at the back there you can see there's a lot of oil cans there. A lot of lovely uh, advertising oil cans. Fuel our seats on the wall there. Swinging round here towards the motorbikes. Up at the very top we've got a TZ350 and a TZ250. Again, there you have. You, you will see videos of these on my Facebook account. For most tractors, there is a video on Facebook. Just scroll down there and you can listen to the tractors or the motorbikes there. That's the 350 here. 350 out of a good home and there's the 250 as well. Again, there's videos online showing them all. 
And again, here we have these uh, petroleum uh, globes. They are reproduction, but anyway, there we go. Nice lot there, who knows? As long as you get the satisfaction of looking at them, that's the most important thing. Before we go any further, I'm gonna go across to the cabins here. We have a few oil cans, as you can see there. A few oil cans inside the cab, the older ones this time, and a few nice wee tractors there to a good scale. There you go, and these are all original there. You see them embossed there at MS. And looking down there, and over here, we manage your tractor seats. I never had them before, that's a first. We have a special collection as well up at the top shed. We'll go there very shortly. Off clay pipes. There's advertising tins as well. Look at that for a variety of tins here. All one lot going onto the hammer tomorrow as well. So as we go across the back here, you can see there we go again. A lot of old uh, vintage toolboxes. All vintage toolboxes there and old TV. You don't see many of them about. Cash register. And again, folks, that complaints sir. Run down here, off this room here. You get the nice wee Suzuki, step through. Motorbike, there's a wee monkey bike as well. Look at the name on her, she's a Honda. And not forgetting her TR8, there's the speciality taking out of place in the middle of the auction room, this Triumph TR8. Again, I think there's only 14 of them ever made. They didn't, they weren't. These cars were never ever sold in the UK, not the UK market. This one here, spent most of her life here, bought first of all by British Leyland, and then went across to a private collection in the Isle of Man again. Lovely, lovely uh, car there. There's all the history for it. She's untouched. The paintwork and all is untouched. A V8 engine in there as well. Lovely, lovely car. She is from back to front and all around her. Very complete. Nice, nice. And again, she is taking pride of place in the middle of our auction room for tomorrow. Anyhow, I'm going to pass on back. There's a lovely AGS motorbike as well. AGS, and you probably saw this here, a lot of hits yesterday, I know there's bits left to ready for this wee Peugeot Vogue, perfect work in order, my wife drove it around the yard there yesterday, and that's going on 110%, anyhow, that's auction room one, we'll move out now into the yard, give a wee quick walk around here, off the yard, and then we'll progress into auction room number two, I'm going to go straight across here to case uh, 5150, Again, in perfect work and order she is this time. All these tractors all in tip top condition. This one here, uh, 50, 5150, totally serviced. Lovely tractor, on moving on there. To John Deere, 30, 50 again. Big straight tractor, plenty of power there. And again, again, a lot of hits on this one here. This big case, 1056 XL. Cracking big tractor. And if I swing around here, there we go again. A Leland Arctic this time. Look at that there, you don't get too many of them coming through an auction room at the moment. Anyway, there we have it. She comes with the low loader and all to the back. There we are. Now, on to our Massey Ferguson in a row here of five Massey Ferguson. Again, all on the key this time. All these titles can't be started tomorrow morning. A lovely 135. Again, it's a beautiful, beautiful tractor with the canvas time, 135. Moving across to a 168. You probably saw the video on Facebook, me going around the yard with that tractor there. She's a very rare tractor to come into an auction room again. That's a 168, make no mistake about it. Beside her is a 178. 178 out of the same stable again this time. There we go, another cracking tractor. First turn of the key, that tractor's going there. And then we go on to the 165. 165 without the cab this time. 165 without the cab. Again, all tractors are going and running. And then you have the same tractor with the cab, same tractor with the cab there as you can see. And again folks, these are the way you want them, you want them in the working clothes, you don't want them all dolled up. And here we go, on to the first of the fours. I got a lot of phone calls yesterday, a lot of text messages saying I didn't do a video with this tractor here. Changed the battery on her this morning there, brand new battery in her. And first turn of the key, that tractor's running perfect. Lovely, straight wee tractor, no. The way you want her again this time, totally untouched, totally untouched. Nice wee clean tractor, good tyres. There's a separate video going on Facebook very, very shortly regarding this tractor here. You will hear her run it. Beside her is the first of the Ford 7000. Again, European tractor, no tax book with her at all, but she is there. She is still, nevertheless, she is still a Ford 7000. Very rare to see them coming through an auction room at the moment. They are a good collector's item and a good collector's tractor. Beside her there is a 7910. 
Again, folks, look at the bit of her. Plenty of power in that tractor there. She stands out the mountains once the crowd here. Cracking tractor she is too this time. And beside here is a Ford 7610. Again, European tractor. No rust around this tractor here. As you can see, so it's coming from a better climate than over here. Nice straight tractor she is too. I'll give you another wee walk around the other side here just to satisfy yourself with her. Again, you can go on to Facebook and see a full tractor run through. A uh, video run through of this tractor. Lovely tractor she is. And again, what helps her is the sun shining. There we go. Look at her gleam. Again, beside her, 4,000 again, untouched again this time. We have no tax back to this tractor, but as you can see, there is a Northern Ireland Reg GIA 3095 Reg on that tractor. So she is a Northern Irish tractor as well. So again, you can do your homework there. You'll probably get a V5 for that tractor. Again, moving on at the back here. We'll not forget this Ford 3000. At the back here was a late entry. Again, she is on the button again as well. New battery and all in this tractor. She is a project, but she goes and she is fine. There we go, just needs a wee bit of TLC there, but again, she is a Ford 3000 without the cab. And as I move over here, you can see here, there we go, a Ferguson diesel this time, T20. Again, this tractor, believe it or not, first swing of the, uh, what do you call it there, the gear stick and starter position. She's on the button. You can try and test her tomorrow. Should you wish and do that. And if I go around here again, there we go. A David Brown. David Brown here with iron wheels not on her. This tractor again. She is missing two pistons in the engine. The man who owns her actually loaned the pistons out of her. Never got them back again. But again, look at her. She's a fair wee bit of age there. On that David Brown. And again, out of the same home again. 1941 Boy Thresher. As you can see the Boyd Thresher there beside her, if I'm going to step back here, take a closer look at her. Again, originally from Bally Money. Back into her hometown and home territory. And again, there we go, a binder. You don't see too many of them about in this day and age. But if you need a binder to complete your, your collection, there's one in my yard. If I swing around here, there's a few ploughs and grubbers, horse grubbers. And in the corner here, I'm not going to miss this here. There we go, a cab this time. It's probably a Duncan cab or whatever. Uh, needs to be built up, which is all there. There's our Clyde Steel Roller. Come out of the same home as the other two carts inside auction room one. Again, sold for no fault whatsoever. And then, sitting beside her, is a cart converted to go on the back of uh, the tractor this time. So there you go. Nice wee complete cart as well this time. And I'll not, mention, not forget these here. Two good mud guards for a 135 sitting on the floor. Anyhow, a few engines and engine parts in there tomorrow as well. There you have it. So I'm going to walk here towards auction room two here. And you can look on the ground there. You'll see other things there, which probably will tick some boxes. Nice wee pump on the floor there. And again, there we go. There is a, a match ploy. A match ploy this time. She's a real good one. Look out for her tomorrow. And there are a lot of tractor parts there. Again, there's a rare lot come in here. Never had one before in my yard. An old manger. An old manger. Again, from Mabel and Son in uh, Scotland. The badge and all is on her this time. But look at that there. Iron wheels not on her. Have you saw one before? I haven't. And again, a lot of interest here around this wee uh, Ferguson drill plow. She is in perfect condition. Look around the drill. The, the mould boards there. She's in perfect condition. Unfortunately, she's missing, missing the badge. But look. She's a sharp, sharp ploy. Real good and she is too. Into her hard the back there, iron harrow. And then I am going to swing round here to see this good hydraulic tip and trailer again. Look at that there for quality again. Another good tip and trailer there. So for no fault whatsoever. Beside her is a 1971 Trump 1500 rear front wheel uh, drive model. Again, Dolomite this time. She's a Triumph Dolomite. Nice lot there. Moving on beside her is a Mercedes. Mercedes this time and we'll get LS Cape again so no fault watch her again folks that car is going 110% out of a very very good home beside her is a Jaguar a Jaguar Sport there we go the Jaguar Sport there sitting pride of place in the yarn and again for all you BMW lovers there there we go a BMW a 535 pedal 535 pedal again nice car there not a big reserve on it it's just here for sale tomorrow and over along the side there we have Massey Ferguson Loader. Badge and all on it, as you can see there. Massey Ferguson Loader, the badge is on it there. 
There's the badge. And I've got again two other massive frozen motors beside it. Right, we're walking in here to auction room number two. And we'll go straight to the tractors here. Here we are again, folks. We have a lovely wee British Anzani Iron Horse this time. Again, she is on the button. You saw the video on Facebook there. Go online there and watch that there. We British Anzani. And as I progress down here, we're looking at the Ford 4000. Again, she's inside. Again, this tractor is on the button. Another complete tractor, as you can see there. Good seat and all on her. Again, I might pull these tractors outside tomorrow. It's going to be good weather. You'll hear them all going. If you want to hear it during the viewing, please give us a wee call. We'll come out and start the tractors for you. And beside her is a Ford uh, Nan. There we go. Nice wee Ford Nan this time. I think I'm right in saying that there. <coughs> Again, this tractor is on the button. No problem. She drove into the shed. 110% correct in every way. Moving on here, we have a Ford and Measure. A forging major again, lovely big complete tractor. <coughs> she stands out there among them all. Again, beside her, you can see there the super, it's another super Dexter, a forging Dexter beside her. <coughs> They're all nearly identical condition, the two of them. But again, that forging major, lovely big tractor. Again, not a big reserve on her as well. She's here for sale. And beside her, there is the forging Dexter. Again, nice wee straight tractor. Look down her there. And again, first turn of the key. She is on the button. <clears throat> Beside her is the star of the show tomorrow there. <clears throat> the Ford 7000. Ford 7000. There's only two owners from you for this tractor. Only two owners from you. Again, it's nice to have her in the yard. Put her inside there as well. But again, the phones are ringing hot this morning about this tractor here. So again, if you want to come and see her, we're open tomorrow morning from 9 o'clock. On Saturday morning, we're open. We the auction starts this evening from six o'clock, so you're viewing all evening. Certainly feel free, you can't start her obviously when I'm auctioneering inside the shed, but certainly you can come and look around her and you hear her start tomorrow morning, or just look online and you'll see I've done a walk around Betty Woffer as well. Beside her, the last tractor I'm going to walk around here is a rare tractor, not too many of these ones about here. She is an international 650 diesel. Again, Kraken tractor, she is very rare. She starts in petrol, then flicks across to diesel. How many of these have you saw? Look at that there. <clears throat> lovely, lovely tractor there. All well do oiled up and looking in cracking condition. Again, she is in tip top shape and she drives well. No problem whatsoever. As you can see in here, we have a variety of motorbikes. A variety of motorbike bikes there. We have a, there we go, a Fantic, a Bimi Suzuki. And there we go, we built Taco, a lovely big BMW, Suzuki, all on the button here, folks. Well, some of them are, that, that, that Suzuki is, anyhow. And again, there we go, lovely retro bike here. Nice wee step through Honda again. A lot of interest in these bikes here. And there we go. Saving the best to last is these two here. Lovely wee Umbretto. There we go. A nice Lombretto. Step through scooter. These are all the end things now, folks. Duck egg blue is the colour of her. She's a beauty. And turn around there, you can see a Honda. Nice wee Honda 70. Take a look at that bike there, folks. That there's getting the most hits of all the items in my auction, is that wee Honda. And then, of course, sitting beside her is wee Honda trike. And there you have it. So anyhow, in the meantime, that's all our vehicles. I'm going to show you now is our clay pipes here. One man's private collection. There's been some gallon here of clay pipes. Look at that there.